Hi there guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna play a quick game. I don't know whether you've heard of the game catchphrase, but I'm gonna bring up two photos on the screen and you've gotta work out what they are all about. So, here we go. Have you got it yet? That's right, you've guessed it. We're talking about keyframes today and more specifically, how to copy and paste keyframes. So let's dive into the computer and uh, take a look at my Final Cut project. So I've set up a uh, just a stock video of a man putting an Amazon box down. Uh, as we all know, we need that in our life. Um, and I've got two keyframes set up, so I'm just gonna hit Command Plus to zoom in. Uh, going to hit the A key, um, and uh, this is just the starting block there. Uh, let's just play this key, let's play this clip so you can see what's going on. Um, so what I've got is basically a steady uh, pan to the right uh, and a zoom as well. Um, so say we want to duplicate that here, but obviously we um, like where do you go from from here basically? So. The first thing you actually need to do is hit Control V, um, and that brings up the keyframe video animation sort of inspector window, so to speak, uh, which is completely different the way Premiere Pro works. Um, I'm not quite sure if I enjoy this method, but it works. Um, so we're gonna copy over these keyframes by selecting them, and we're gonna hit Alt Shift C in order to select them. Uh, and then we're going to go over here. Now, if we do it now, if we hit Alt Shift V, you'd think that would work, but it doesn't. Um, what you need to do is hit the transform uh, uh, panel, and as soon as that's highlighted, it will um, make sure that you paste it into the right place. So we're now gonna hit Alt Shift V, and um, now we've got that there. If we go to this keyframe, select it, and then select Alt Shift C, uh, we're gonna copy that. Uh, and then we're gonna hit that line, gonna hit Alt Shift V. We're gonna expand it out uh, and you can now see the movement going in there. Um, now it's a useful little feature actually, what you can do is swap over, um, hit this drop down button um, and uh, sort of select position. So if you only wanted to work on keyframes uh, in the position panel, you could do that using this bit here. So if we set a position keyframe there, we can. Um, and then if we change it to scale, it uh, you can see that it's disappeared slightly, but there's a little black dot there, which indicates uh, that on another parameter, you've got a keyframe. Um, so yeah, you can basically swap around uh, to whatever you want. Um, and you can use these arrows to take you back to the last keyframe, um, which is obviously what you, you need to do. Uh, so again, if we wanted to copy this parameter uh, and we hit Alt, Shift uh, and C, um, and say we were in the scale, it would allow you to do it, but it would do it completely wrong. So Alt Shift V uh, allows you to do it. And you can see it's completely messed up the, the video. So basically when you're pasting, just make sure that you are on the right parameter because otherwise you'll be completely messed up and you won't know what's going on. So uh, again, so we're on position again. So we hit Alt Shift V. Oh, it didn't do it because I've not selected it. Alt Shift V and it's done it there. So that's been a quick tip on how to copy and paste keyframes in Final Cut Pro. Um, I'm not convinced everyone in the world knows about that little secret. I actually put it in a Facebook uh, group and asked a, a load of fun, um, Final Cut Pro experts um, how to do it and someone replied with this great solution. So I felt compelled to share the good news, so to speak, uh, with you. And uh, hopefully this video has been helpful. If it has, please do remember to hit the like and the subscribe button. I would really appreciate that. I try and re release videos um, particularly focused on um, beginners in the video world. My channel is all about sort of setting up your own business as well uh, with a specific focus on uh, video content creation. Um, so please do remember to hit the like and the subscribe button if this video has been helpful and you would appreciate a regular dose of me coming to your home and talking all about video and how to improve your video content. And before you go, 
If you have any questions or comments surrounding video production in general, please do remember to drop a comment below and I will gladly do my best to answer your questions. Thanks ever so much for watching guys. You've been great. Thank you. Bye for now.